I want to hear Francesa. You want to hear Francesa? Yeah, what's going on with Francesa? Well, there's a brand new clip of him um, spilling his Diet Coke. He I loves got that, drinking Diet Coke. I got sent that fucking link a thousand times. Well, people weren't sure you got it, eh? I know, I know. So Let's you see. want the Coke clip first? You don't want my uh, best of clips? You have more than one. We, I couldn't pick just one. There's two that I loved. Of course. All right, Sam <laughs> Sam got in a Mike Francesa YouTube uh, loop over the weekend. We were going through because my history. Because of the Diet Coke uh, clip, which is now the latest and newest Mike Francesa clip. We were going through my history on YouTube in the break, and it was just Francesa clip after Francesa All clip. All Mikey clips. Have we played this one on the air? I don't know for sure, uh, but a minute of it is just rejoiner music. Yeah. And the best part is because Mike Francesa, he does his radio show in New York, but it's broadcast on television, right? Mm -hmm. So everybody gets to see all this stuff. And half the stuff that happens is him embarrassing himself visually. Right. So in this scenario, he didn't realize he was on the air. Mm -hmm. And he's just sitting there in front of a TV camera, not realizing he's on TV. <laughs> but there's more of a visual. We do a radio show. It's too funny, though. All right, all right. Let's, I don't think I've seen this one. <laughs> Look, he's just on his computer. <laughs> <laughs> so he's back at this point. Yeah, he's on. He's live on television and radio. But he don't give a fuck. That's why I love Mike Francesa. <laughs> he doesn't have a clue. He, looks, he, he even looks at a computer... And if you in a bad he's like, way, he's like, huh, huh? If you criticize him for it, I'll say, "What do you want? I've been doing this 25 years. What do you want?" For yeah, right, right, right. He's still. He's still <laughs> it's just rejoiner music playing and playing. <laughs> and this is going out on the air on television. Yeah. Why is he talking? He has no idea he's on the air. Someone finally told him. Yeah. <laughs> he's Yana's producer. Like, what, I'm back? Mike? Why didn't you tell me? Nice if they tell me back. I thought we usually go to commercial out of the uh, update, Pete. I mean, come on. Since when oh. we play one spot out of a commercial? I mean, come on, Pete. <laughs> oh, wow, he's mad. Blame someone Ralph else. and Yonkers, what's going on? Ralph? Hey, afternoon, uh, Mike. No, uh, a couple it? things on last night should... That was it? Yeah, he gets upset wow. over his producers not <laughs> telling on, him. Come on, what are you doing? And the other great thing that you have to look for on YouTube yeah. is when he yells at his producers off mic. Because yeah. you can see him scowling and yelling, but yeah. you can't hear it. You can't him. hear it. <laughs> this is the, the other one's a visual, too, but it's too funny. It's too funny. All right, what, what is this one? This one, all right. So what do you see in this photo? He's on break. Yeah. Yeah. That's his ice cream dish. Oh, look, he's got some ice cream. <laughs> right? <laughs> he loves treats while he, he broadcasts. He does love I'm, treats. Like, there were teardrops hitting my keyboard on my computer. I was crying laughing so hard watching this. Why? Don't even tell us why then. Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. And then we'll explain it to everyone because, like you said, it's visual. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to know why you're laughing so hard at this. You find the strangest <laughs> things funny. Well, the, the last one, he's yelling at his producer. There are times there's some solid comedy going on in the studio and you're blank-faced, and then it's the dumbest, <laughs> stupidest thing, and you're, you're, you're laughing so hard you cry. Oh, I love my princess. <laughs> all right, let's see. <laughs> Enjoying he's, he's, he's enjoying some ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what is he doing? Why is he covering up his ice cream? <laughs> he didn't know he was on the air. What? He didn't want anyone to see that he was eating ice cream. No, but doesn't he but understand? He's crying too late. again. <laughs> I, I totally get it. <laughs> when someone know. goes, hey, Mike, you're on the air, you can't now cover up your ice cream. Everyone already saw it. He took a little folded piece of paper. And he's trying very, <laughs> like, stealthily to cover up the ice cream because he knows, he he's knows that it'll just lead to phone calls going, Hey, Mike, you fat fuck, you shouldn't be eating ice cream. What do you like, Rocky Road? Yeah, yeah. A pre heard the producer say, Mike, Mike, you're on television. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. And, first and he thinks he can make it go. He, he thinks he can make it go away by covering it up. I have to cover my ice cream. <laughs> and it's the least natural thing. It's obviously a piece of oh, paper yeah. propped up in front of an ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> can you rewind that? Oh, that was good. <laughs> kind of like it, right? It's a... <laughs> You love it now? Yeah. I love how he thinks he can really make it just go away. His no face, one will notice. His face gets a little panicky. <laughs> right. Like, uh-oh, I think my ice cream's on camera. And then he tries very stealthily to cover it up. Well, Doesn't safe work. to say he gets uh, some ice cream every day. <laughs> he loves ice cream. Oh, right. he loves that. But he, this is the exact, like, example of this guy who will never admit when he's wrong. Yeah. And always has to be smarter than everybody else. Oh, no, I yeah. wasn't eating ice cream. Right. No, no, it wasn't. A, you didn't see that. Let's see. <laughs> All right. It's like, 
Ooh, he's ready to take, take a bite, and like you're on the air, yeah, so he doesn't air. take the bite. And then <laughs> <laughs> I look at his face too. He's like, "Fuck!" I. And you know what? You know what? The worst part is he really wanted a spoonful oh, of ice cream, boy, but he stopped himself. Yeah, they made him throw to the graphics so he could eat his ice yes, cream. Yes, yeah, go to the graphics. Go to the graphics. Like, I need another bite, Mike. You agreed to be in a radio studio with TV cameras. Just assume they're always on. Yeah, yeah, he. Uh, that's funny. That's it. He wanted that ice cream. Yeah, those were my best outs. Oh, that's great. All right, and then the new one, of course. And then, of course, I watched all the classic ones that we've played. All yeah, the yeah. prank calls of him getting uh, called out for sleeping and <laughs> yeah, him getting all upset. So this he is, is just a full of shit guy, though. That's why he's, <laughs> he's hateable. <laughs> But you can't stop he's watching not, him. Uh, and he's not hateable. He does very well, man. He's no, got no. his fans. I'm not saying he... I don't care if he's the fucking, if he's the fucking biggest <gasps> thing in regular history. I think he's hateable because he's, he's just a fucking curmudgeon. I old. think he's hateable, but I, somehow he pulls it off is what, I guess what I'm trying to say. Because uh, he's, he's got a pretty big fucking fan base. So did Hitler. Yeah. I didn't enjoy watching him either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I enjoy watching him with, with all these little fuck-ups and prank calls. And now Hitler? The, and now the oh. diet. <laughs> yeah, Hitler's greatest pranks. Spills his coke. He blames a Jew. Do you have Dr. Rosenbaum in a can? <laughs> 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 and he gets so upset when people call him out. Like, he, the, his go-to thing is like, look, I've been doing a radio. I've been, I've been doing a show 25 years, five hours a day, okay? You you, you come and you, and you bring up one minute. One minute at a time. Wait, it's not going to affect me. It's not going to affect me. <laughs> You think you can affect me? It's but not going to affect me. It does and meanwhile, him. <laughs> it affects him so it's much. It's only affecting him. It's it's the worst thing ever for him. He right. told one guy, he goes, look, look, do me a favor. You see a book, read it. Okay. All right. Oh, <laughs> like that's his way of calling someone stupid. <laughs> 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 so this is the new clip. Okay. I already am happy because that's a three quarters full thing of Diet Coke. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of You haven't seen this yet? No. Oh, and crazy. by the way, he loves Diet Coke. Always has a bottle of Diet Coke next to him. Which is Always. so bad for you. At yeah. that point, you might as well just drink the fucking Coke. Are they sponsors? No. No. Half the time, the label's peeled off. He just loves Diet Coke and ice cream. Uh, <laughs> and ice cream, obviously. <laughs> I make an ice cream soda in my stomach. <laughs> what time do you think he gets his ice cream every day? Well, a show goes on at one. He probably has his right nice... Around, he probably survives about two hours. Maybe, right around maybe three. Maybe a, a mid-show ice cream. He gets by on Diet Coke from one to three. And where do you think he hides the ice cream every day? Oh, it's right under his... He's got a little fridge under his console. I bet she has uh, a tiny little table oh, that's yeah. just below the console. Yeah, he's got a little fridge under there. And as soon as he, freezer. Yeah. And, and as soon as he oh, sees that graphic great. goes up, oh boy, he's all in. <laughs> He's all in. Now the I, fridge, the compressor would turn on and make too much noise. He's probably really a hassle. Like an intern has to get a bowl and put ice in it, and then he puts the ice cream in the bowl of ice. Oh, so he can hold it there for the whole show. Yeah, make sure the ice cream's in the bowl of ice. I just not okay. into it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think he takes his time with ice cream. No, no think way. It's over really quick. It's uh, it's nice and cold. There's a fridge somewhere else. It comes in, and man, he is gobbling that like, shit like up like a shark. Fuck yeah! He sees a graphic, and then he goes at it. How Did does he, he fucking? Uh, how does he? <laughs> A radio shop for eating this. ice cream. I know. How is he not clearing his throat? He don't give a shit. He's been doing it 25 years. 25 years. Uh, 25 years. That would okay. kill me. 25 years. I wonder if Francesca could call in and tell us how he does this ice cream oh, thing. Oh, he would yeah, never. You, know. you think when the engineers were building out his studio, thing. he said, uh, Look, I need you to build me an ice cream table. I need a little ice cream table under the console. <laughs> yeah, okay, just, I just I did do it 25 years. I need a little for ice my cream. ice cream, okay? Okay. I get, please, I get, that Diet Coke is taunting me. Oh, you haven't yeah, seen yeah. this? No, I, have, I have to see oh, it. Oh, this is great. Do you think this it's going to stay whoops, oh, upright? Oh, no. <laughs> it looks like, is there a lid on there? <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> he, makes, he makes a rookie mistake with this. It is a rookie mistake. This is a rookie mistake. Well, what do you see precariously next to that bottle? That uh, would be his, his elbow. His arm, yeah. yeah his oh, elbow. Hold on. Yeah. hold on. Let's make Jimmy wait for a second, because this guy actually pranked Francesa last oh, week. Oh, yes. uh, Matt in Queens, we love you guys, by the way. Good morning, boys. Hey. Actually, I listened to your first podcast. I'm one of the first guys on there when you did uh, when you did them. I tried getting them last week. I called them up. I said uh, we uh, we adopted a golden retriever and we named it after you, Mike. And uh, I fed it a gallon of diet coke and it died. <laughs> <laughs> they cut off the diet coke part, but he was all excited because he thought someone named the dog after. <laughs> people, people call up with the dumbest prank calls too. I was watching one that had me rolling. He was talking about Derek Jeter being injured or something. Wait, play it for us. Yeah. All right, let me find it. Uh, uh, this idea that I'm eating a gallon of ice cream every day. I don't know. I, I I think he's eating ice cream every single day. Oh hell yeah! And it's yeah. a routine. It's yeah, like a, sure. it's a mid-show oh, treat. 
Th- thank thank you, you, Matt. Boys. All right. This call had me die. I could not, Jess could not understand what I was laughing at. I kept trying to explain it to her through my tears. <laughs> through and, your tears. And nothing. Interested in, but I don't think you're going to see at all, I don't think you're going to see Jorge behind a plate. Steven Boundbrook, what's up, Steve? Mike, how's it going, man? What's up? Hey, uh, but regarding the Jeter injury, you've got to get an MRI. You already had one. Yeah, but Mike, listen, what he's got to do, get the MRI, whether he goes on a DL or not, you got to give him some of your diet coke. That's the elixir, you know what I'm saying, Mike? <laughs> oh, you know, listen, lose the number, please. Hey, Mike, how's it going? Why wouldn't you embrace that? He said, that's lose the elixir. <laughs> right, lose, lose the, the number, the okay? Number. He said to one oh. guy, he started going, he started going, <laughs> Look, if you want to call, you know we're paying the phone bill, right? If you want to call, bill. Uh, you want to call on your dime, it's your dime, okay? I'm not going to stop you, but it's not going to affect me. It doesn't even cost a dime. No. <laughs> or you get a calling plan. It's free. The level of his anger is what makes this so uh. great. And it's it's really becoming a huge thing, this Mike Francesa stuff. Yes. Because he's on TV, <laughs> and you can see him get self-flustered and angry. He's made it worse for himself. <laughs> Dumb asshole. Because he keeps saying, look, it's not going to affect me, all right? It's not going to affect me. And I don't think the TV dumps out like the radio show, obviously. No. Well, no and it, so you could still get your pranks in. Just, the, the audio might dump out, but you could still see him get Right, right. All just annoyed and go for the button. <laughs> see on the yes hang up. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. on the Yes Network. You can see him turn off his mic and yell at the producer. <laughs> okay. Because he also, he's so full of himself. I love it. He won't let his producers on the air. Right. Yeah. But he'll talk to them. So he'll have one-sided conversations where you don't hear the other person. No. Why would he wouldn't allow that? And that other person that. would probably defend himself a little bit, right? He is defending himself, but you can't hear him. Does he uh, ever talk UFC or is it just baseball, football? Oh, no, God, no. No, just, yeah, baseball, football, really. Not even a lot of hockey, really. All right, let's. Uh, here's finally the, the you ready? Coke. Yeah. You ready for this? <laughs> Rookie mistake. Huh. <laughs> All right. We're going to go around the league now. We're going to go around the league. Oh. <laughs> 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 Whoops. I can't, I can't go there anymore. So I'm done. You know that? Uh, I cannot do it. So. <laughs> Go around the league. It's still so Look at it's all over his console. <laughs> Look over here. Look, yeah, yeah. All the way to the left. Does, Does he even mention it? Look, yeah. someone gave so paper towels and he's like, no, that's all right. That's he did. Right. He said, I smelled some soda. <laughs> Look at how far it's running off to the left. Now that doesn't have injuries, okay? I mean, everybody has. Okay. But the Jets. With them, He's peeling off paper one. towels and they go it. to the graphic. Hit, um, once again, go to the graphic to cover it. Cover oh, that's up his cover up Fatso's fucking <laughs> Fatso's <laughs> blunder. His wrist gets it. Oh, there he, it is. He goes. He goes. Oh, I, I recovered. I picked it up real quick. And the soda. He picks up the soda and then kind of. Oh, it just fountains it, over it, the top. <laughs> yeah, it fizzes up. Yeah, and fountains over the top for a good like ten seconds. Because it's pretty n- new. He just opened that bottle. Let's watch <laughs> yeah. it fall again. You want to? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, uh, oh no! Oh, people are having fun with this clip. Oh. This one where it just goes over and over again. <laughs> and, <laughs> it just, and you know he's just uh, when that happens to you, you're like, oh god, what do I do? <laughs> it's getting all over his console. Oh yeah. <laughs> he's trying to be cool because he's on television too. But there's Dyke. <laughs> Everything that happens to him on camera like that, he must just know, like, oh no, the calls. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get prank calls now. But this now. is why he's a bore. Instead of just saying, like, I spilled soda, like, make it a whole thing of yeah, it. Yeah. Hey, he keeps it with the then boring stats. He's a consummate professional, Dude. Jim. And then Jets. People wouldn't post their the videos. They post them because they see how oh, yeah. annoyed he gets at everything. Somebody called up and asked him if he had seen the 1776 parody that we played. Right. And he said, oh, no, I don't watch that. I don't watch YouTube, so I haven't seen it. I don't know anything about it. But The clip went viral. Of course he saw it. But, so why can't he acknowledge that that guy did a good job goofing on him? Huh? Yeah, just... just, just it's, it's almost like an SNL skit. It's it, funny. It was, it was well done. Plus, everybody's watching it, so you could take a little credit. Yeah, but... He, but can we hear a little of the, uh, the 1776 clip? Want to, sure. But. I don't know that one. <laughs> You weren't here when we played this? Mike Francesa from 1776. <laughs> Being a blowhard and getting everything wrong. Well, let's be honest, the Rebels probably have no chance to win, but if the Rebels have any chance to win, <laughs> they better trust Benedict Arnold. 
<laughs> when Benedict Arnold is He's Benedict saying. Arnold, He's Cornwallis, and when Cornwall when Cornwallis is Cornwallis, he's Alexander the Great. Okay, so <laughs> if you're gonna trust anybody in this war, on the rebel side, Ben Donald's your guy. Back after this. All right, we're back. And uh, he's wrong about everything. Uh, now listen, I didn't want to get into this, but you know everybody's making a big deal out of it, so I figured, you know, why not? You know, I, I wasn't ignoring it, but you know. Uh, People are talking about it, uh, you know. It's a good impression. The other day. Oh, that's the guy who calls us. This it's idea not, I mean, that, guy. and listen, I don't like him. I don't like him, and I don't support him. But this idea that Thomas Jefferson is sleeping around or fooling around with one of his slaves, I mean, I, we are joined by uh, <laughs> Commander and Lord and General, you know, all the titles uh, you want to give him because, I mean, he's, he's great. I mean, he's one of the best. Uh, Lord Cornwallis. Lord Welcome, how are you? Doing great, Michael, how are you? <laughs> now, you know, listen, I don't want to bother you with this, but, you know, we got to address it. Uh, because, you know, people like to make a hubbub about this, and I, I know you're a decorated war hero, and, you know, this is kind of a joke to you. Uh, but to these rebels, do they worry you at all? Are you worried at all about, you know, George Washington, any of these guys? All right, we're going to go to Henry. And... <laughs> there you go, little <laughs> that, that, Did a lot of people see that? Yeah, it's like oh, a, yeah. close to 200,000. Yeah, okay. and made a whole bunch of sites, a whole bunch of blogs. <laughs> All right, well, that sucked. To hear the Opie and Anthony show five days a week, live on satellite radio, online on your phone or tablet, or even on demand, go to SiriusXM.com. Also, interact with the Opie and Anthony show on Twitter, at Opie Radio, at Anthony Cumia, and at Jim Norton.